In this video, we will explore best practices for managing and improving library packages. Library maintenance spans the entire life cycle of the package. So, we will walk through some key scenarios for a simple temperature library that demonstrate the recommended versioning practice in library maintenance. One recommended practice in versioning is following the semantic versioning specification, commonly known as SEMBA. SEMBA uses a versioning scheme that consists of three numeric components which are major, minor and patch. Each component has a specific purpose and conveys the impact of changes made. This helps users to maintain compatibility with their projects. So let's identify the scenarios for versioning. First, let's walk through the journey towards the first public release. Then we'll address a bug fix. Thirdly, we'll explore an improvement scenario. The fourth one is a breaking change situation. And lastly, we'll cover deprecation. Let's begin to improve the temperature library to understand these cases. This temperature library contains a function to convert the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. In the initial stages of the development, it's a best practice to use initial versions. Packages versioned with an initial version are not considered to be stable. So this tells the user to expect breaking changes in the upcoming releases. Once we are satisfied with the stability and functionality of our package, we can release the first public version, which will be 1.0.0. It communicates that the package is stable and production ready. So after the first public release, maintenance becomes even more important as the package reaches a wider audience. So let's go on to fix issues and enhance the temperature library. When we use the conversion API, we can notice that there is an issue in the readability of the result. Generally, it's sufficient to have the value with one decimal point. So let's fix the code to round off the Celsius value to one decimal point. Simba enforces to use patch versions for bug fixes. So we can publish this as the next patch version, which is 101. Now let's move to the second scenario and we'll introduce an API to convert temperatures the other way around, meaning from Celsius to Fahrenheit. This is an enhancement with no impact to the existing Fahrenheit to Celsius API. So this can be added in the next minor release. We can add these changes in the version 1.0. Moving on, we can observe that these APIs lack validation. According to laws in thermodynamics, temperature values cannot go below absolute zero. So we can incorporate this into the APIs to return an error if the temperature value given is below the absolute zero. As we do the changes in the code, you can notice that this changes the signature of the function and so the existing usages of the API needs to be updated. So this is a breaking change, meaning it's backward incompatible. A new major version should be published for this, which can be 2.0.0. The last scenario is to deprecate the package. You can deprecate the entire package or just one version of it depending on the scenario. Say I want to introduce a new consolidated library for conversions like length, weight along with temperatures. With the new release of this package, the users should be encouraged to use this new library. The new users can be easily communicated to use this, but we should also get the existing users to migrate. To do this, we can deprecate the entire package in the Ballerina Central. So sign into the Ballerina Central and go to the package and you can see an icon next to the package name. Click on this and select deprecate all versions and provide a deprecation message. the package is successfully deprecated. Now when we try to compile a package that depends on this deprecated library, the compiler will issue a warning with the deprecation message. Upon seeing this message, the users will be encouraged to migrate the code to use the new library. So we explored the most common scenarios you would come across when maintaining library packages. 
I hope that you have gained the knowledge to contribute with reliable libraries to the growing ballerina library ecosystem.